What up, y'all? This video right here, I'm gonna try to keep it as short as possible. Now, I just wanna say for those of you that has just subscribed, something has been brought to my attention that I don't, I wanna make sure people don't get the, get the wrong idea about what this channel is about. Number one, I wanna just come out clean and admit this as, as fast as I can. I'm not an anime fan. I'm just a casual watcher. I watch anime with my wife, for the most part. And whenever we watch anime, it's mostly isekais. The last thing that we watched was like Osan, uh, Osan, the, 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 the old man who, if you know what it is, you know what it is. That title long is, I don't know what, Fatal Failure or fail, Failure Fatal, whatever, whatever that drain is called. It was mostly isekais, right? So I guess to give a little bit of context real quick, this video is primarily being made because there was an individual in the comment section that brought something to my attention. He also started to get mad racist with it. Now I could come on rah, 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 be extra and all that. All that's unnecessary. I'm an old man at the end of the day. All that is 100% unnecessary. This person don't know about my education. He don't know that I'm a college graduate with a bachelor's degree. This person don't know that I'm certified than Azure or AWS or Linux and I'm very technologically savvy. You don't know about all that. This individual also don't know that I work as a cloud engineer and I'm on the track to be promoted to a solutions architect. But again, he say I got no money and I'm from the hood. He don't know about all that. And I say all this to say, and he got mad racist with it because he called me a black anime fan and he, he doubled down on it. And he said that I'm an obnoxious content creator too, as well as an attention whore, which most of you that have been around I guess since 2020, which was, I guess when most people started to find me, but that was like during a different era. That was back when I, wa I would consider myself an anime fan. And I was doing things like Tower of God, Solo Leveling, The Breaker, uh, Under Ordinary, things like that, right? Which I think some of you are still around, don't know. But that was back in the day. That was back when we was monetized and everything. And then we had to restart because of the whole webtoon situation. This is what I will say. This space here, and this goes for everybody that's coming. I'll be honest with you. It's not for you. If I didn't get this current setup that I had for my wife for Christmas, I would not be doing YouTube right now. This is honestly my own personal space to talk about things that I can't talk about in my real life because I have nobody to talk about them with. Most people I know, they're either talking about their day-to-day -day life, they're talking about work, we're talking about other things, we're talking about investments, houses, all that. We ain't, we ain't really talking about all of this that I'm talking about here. This is just like my own personal space. Think of it as a man cave, if you will, where I come, I discuss things that genuinely pique my interest or things that I'm genuinely interested in, and I give them a once over. There'll be some things that are painted in a negative light that I'm talking about in a positive light. There'll be some things that, that are painted in a positive light that I'll try to warn people against. There'll be some times where I'll give a take and it'll be completely incorrect, but at that point, it would be my opinion. It won't be anything that would be factual. It would just be my opinion. And I know that there were a bunch of people in the video that was upset at when I was trying to guess like the different Dragon Ball games and all that. And they took that to heart. To those people, I would say, if you comment on this video and you really do feel somewhere about it and you want me to take the video down, I will take the video down. And this is what I was trying to explain to you, random anime gamer. I don't care that much to have a space that I'm operating in purely for my own self-satisfaction not attention not attention there's a difference between wanting attention because you're seeking it from other people i'm doing this for myself there's a difference between having individuals come into that space muck it up with their own dirty perverted and and nasty attitudes when you're just trying to chill have a space where you can actually talk about things in gaming that you care about and as i mentioned before the only reason why I put up the review was because it wasn't even about the game anymore for me. It was just about the misinformation that the person was given in the video. You could say, well, you gave misinformation because you didn't get the games right. I'll be honest with you. I don't care. I don't care. I didn't get the games right. I didn't play those games enough except Xenoverse 2. That was my bad. <laughs> I go. <laughs> that was my bad. I shouldn't have mixed that one up. I don't even know how I did that, but. You know, it is what it is. But I, I don't I don't really care. It's a video game, bro. I'm just trying to be entertained. I don't have any sort of level of attachment to that particular medium like that. Like I love video games. Greatest pastime, a part of my life, a part of it, almost everything I do. But I don't necessarily care that much to discuss, oh well, you got this game wrong with that. I'm like, all right, I got it wrong. Sometimes you get things wrong. Like, that's cool. And that's that's something that's factual. I got it wrong. All right, cool. I know now, who? Cool. Am I gonna go back and play those games? No, no. I spent my time in Xenoverse 2. I gave that game 200 hours. I'm good, <laughs> I'm good, I'm not going back. And I, I say all this to say too, this person 
showed me what the anime community is or not what the anime community is he showed me the dark side of the anime community again that i forgot about and then seeing that dark side again it reminded me why i tried to stay clear like as much as i possibly could i tried to stay clear like even if i was interested in something that was coming out like fairy tale 2 was getting ready to come out and i loved the hell out of the uh, last fairy tale game that came out and i'm staying clear of that giant and me in my mind i'm thinking well this is just a video where I'm trying to check out to see if I want to get Spark and Zero. The homies from D&D, they're like, yeah, I'm going to get it. I'm like, eh, maybe I should get it too. We we all got Grand Blue uh, Relink earlier this year, but we was planning on playing it together, but I wanted up playing it separately from them and beating the whole game. So I was like, eh, I might could get this and play against them with it. And I was like, let me, let me look at this review. And granted, I, I seen like a bit and piece of this review just to give a little bit of more context. I seen a bit of piece of this review, like, like when I had searched it up, like somebody was reacting to it. I saw a bit of what, what like was in it. And like the first thing right off buck, I was like, oh, I think this person trying to do a hit piece. Let me, let me take a look at it. And I was like, maybe he might have some, some information because when everybody is like overly positive on everything, I'll be honest, I'll, I'll try to look at like the worst one because in that one, there'll be a little bit of truth, whereas there'll be a, a ton of lies as well. But with, with this dude, Jane, it was like, he mentioned the controls. He mentioned the gameplay a little bit. And then after that, it was just pure things that did not matter at all. <laughs> and it was just at that point, I was like, yeah, this is a terrible review, which why in the video I put, and you could do a way back machine or whatever on it, worst video game review. And it stayed as that because I don't care about the game at that point. I care about the subject around the game, if that makes sense. With that being said, Rag, I will say this to you. Thank you. You reminded me as to why I wanted to stay far away from the anime fan base. And that is because in that fan base, that it, there is a cesspool of individuals that are full of anger, malicious intent, and hatred. Don't necessarily care about certain things unless it's done their way you're just like the dude in the video and for that i tried to keep it civil with you i'm gonna continue to keep it civil with you if you in particular want that video down let me know i take it down i take it down right now i take it right down right now i don't care i don't care to anybody that subscribed off of that video again i i, I wish i wish every time i try to record this i wish i would have <laughs> posted this like at the beginning again <laughs> but if you watch that video you subscribe, subscribe to the channel thinking that i was getting spark and zero and and all that and that i was going to cover more spark and zero i'll be 100 percent honest with you i'm not i have no intention of covering anything anime related again unless it's probably a dongwa that comes out of china again i have no intention of covering anything at all anime related anymore and that is particularly because this reminded me of that situation that i went through in 2020 and i never want to go through that again if this means that my my trajectory on on like my pace of youtube is going to be slow and stagnant and and i'm as as he put it you're never gonna get 10,000 years if, if if that is the case i'm completely fine with it because i value my peace of mind above all even if that means uh nobody watch everybody unsubscribes i'm good this is just a space for me to kick it to be completely honest and that's what i'm trying to do i'm trying to kick it my main thing is about the games i'm here to talk about video games i'm here to talk about games like where the winds meet I'm here to talk about games like Phantom Zero. I'm here to talk about games like Black Myth Wukong. I'm here to even talk about games like Frostpunk or Dune Awakening. I don't care to, to subjugate myself into one particular category and then be bashed in that category because I don't necessarily agree with the views of the masses. You could say, well, he's just one negative individual. No, there was multiple individuals that was like, well, you, in the first five minutes, you got everything wrong. And it was like, that's not what the video is about. Should I had added a, a joke in the beginning and just be like, oh, dang, he got all of them wrong. I thought it was a given. It is what it is. I wish you all the best. Make sure you're drinking plenty of water. Make sure you're washing your goddamn hand. And number one, and always, take care of yourself. Deuces.